I have so much to do that I'm going to bed. <laughs> My ma screamed. I couldn't move. I couldn't go and see. She'd gone into the toilet and found a mouse running round and round inside the toilet bowl. Da was home. He flushed the toilet and the water went over the mouse's body because it was in close to the rim. He stuck his foot into the bowl and knocked the mouse into the water. The life expectancy of a mouse is about 18 months, I told them. I just read it. Not in this house, said Mada. <laughs> in his own house, the curtains were open, the light was on, and he could see a young girl with a pigtail seated at the piano. She was playing Four Elise very, very slowly and cautiously. Next to her was a woman with long black hair, a stubby nose, and the kind of jaw found on actors playing responsible sheriffs in cowboy films. When the child reached the bottom of the first page, the woman darted forward for the kind of effortful page turn that would have upstaged Paderewski himself. Behold, the gesture seemed to say, I turn the page. The child struggled gamely onto page two, but seemed to suspect that after a page turn of this quality, anything else was liable to be an anticlimax. <laughs> Water may be older than light, mountain tops give off cold fire, forests appear in mid ocean, and it may be that love sometimes occurs without pain or misery. This was Mr. Strugnall's room, she'll say, and look down at the lumpy single bed. He stayed here until he went away and kept his bicycle in that shed. He had a job in Norwood Library. He was a quiet sort who liked to read, Dick Francis mostly, and some poetry. He liked John Betjeman very much indeed. He didn't seem the sort for being free with girls or going out and having fun. He had a funny turn in 63 and ran around shouting, Yippee, it's begun! Whatever you learn about people, however bad they turn out, each of them was once a tiny baby sucking his mother's milk. Fairy tale words, fairy tale advice. But we lived in a fairy tale place, in a lockkeeper's cottage by a river, in the middle of the fens. <laughs>